so we are back all of our tea artwork our tea painting has dried so you can see it, it dries really nice and darkly um and dark <laughs> so a couple of things that you can do when it is dry you can add some color to it so you can use markers or you can use coloring pencils or you can mix You can make that into a bookmark or whatever artwork you want. Here is our, what's going to be our notebook. So... You could... Or if you want to give a torn edge. tie with a bit of string we have a little map again you could color this one in this one you could cut these parts out and turn them into something we want to turn this into a notebook so we can get some pages you could use some of these pages if you want to different ways that you can turn this into a notebook. One, so you get all your pages and you can punch it using a hole punch or something like this. Or if you don't have a hole punch, you might have a stapler. So put all your pages in there, include that one you want to. So let's put that in there too. And then we just have a stapler. So this is my big industrial size stapler, but put it through there. And if the book is small enough, you'll be able to do this with a normal size stapler. So keep the book under A4 size. And put that through. And then you have a little notebook. You can glue them together or you could also use a stapler on them. And you could even put a little, put some holes in them. 